So this is Camelon. My first time here, yet I already know the place. Feels bizarre. It's like time has stopped ticking here. You might be more right than you realize, considering how much power Maltellus wields. So, this is where he died. Lila, are you okay? Thank you, Saray. I'm just fine. We got a ways to the shrine still. Keep your chins up. Quite. doesn't suck. is getting stronger and stronger. You guys doing all right? You don't have to worry about us. We're fine. Oh, okay then. Yeah, just worry about yourself. Looks like we win! What is that? This stone monument looks pretty new. It says something here. Let this be the beginning. <gasps> A monument commemorating the establishment of Camlon? The beginning of what, I wonder? Michael had just quit being a shepherd. The beginning of a normal life with his family, I suspect. And also, maybe, the first step toward a world without malevolence. So Camlon's name, the Origin Village, it probably didn't initially mean the origin of the Age of Chaos. He meant it to instill hope. Michael. There's still a chance, Lila. We can make Camlon the origin of hope again. By bringing a close to the Age of Chaos. Indeed. We saw this before, in the Earth in Historia. Michael's house. <sighs> and you slipped here too, right? Yeah. I guess that means I was here myself, as a human baby. So that makes Camelon your hometown, huh? It's yours as well, isn't it? I suppose. But I don't feel anything toward it. It's just one of those historical technicalities. I can't think of my hometown as anywhere but Alicia. Yeah, same. You and me. Elysians now and forever. Now and forever. <laughs> Snacks are up! Don't 
The amount of malevolence here is just crazy. If Sir A wasn't here, we'd all be dragons by now. Is Maltellus emitting it, or is it flowing into Maltellus? In either case, the malevolence here is definitely what turned Maltellus into a Hellion. The heart of the malevolence seems to be in the back of the village, and there we should find... Heldolf and Maltellus. Let's go! The Hellions in this region are incredibly strong. You must be careful. I will. You guys do the same. We got this! Never underestimate the Shepherd's posse! Ugh, so much malevolence. It's way worse than the last time we fought Heldolf. It just means we're getting closer and closer to him. Yeah, we can't afford to let our guards down. Succubus. But she's a powerful opponent with few weaknesses. We've come this far. We can't lose yet. How are Saray's capabilities as a shepherd? The crest of Maltellus? No, wait. Something's off. It's... This is the crest of Inominat. Inominat? Who's that? A rather enigmatic seraph who only comes up in the oldest texts. He was one of the five lords, before Mautelus. A lord before Mautelus? Do the five lords switch in and out? 
everything comes and goes, without exception. Right now, those who worship Nautilus vastly outnumber adherents of the other four lords. Tomorrow, it may be the opposite. I see. I guess that makes sense. So this was a shrine to a Nomenot. It looks like it. Let's go. Yeah. Wow. Usually they can't help but go on and on about this stuff. Lila, maybe we ought to... Hmm. <sighs> huh? No. Moving on. Uh, right. Come on, guys. Yeah. Yes. Gerudos possess godlike levels of mana. And it can totally fly, too, so we better watch it. Crimson Edge! May your knowledge be from you! Crimson Edge! Crimson Edge! Come on, everyone! Try this on! Focus! Focus! How is that going? Stand down! Don't worry, don't forget! I need assistance! Looks like we win! that wanders this world. I wouldn't show them sympathy if I were you. Don't worry. I'm not here to give a sermon. Snacks are done.
Control empty space. Don't look at it right in the eye. Hey, I contact his basic etiquette. Size speaks for itself. It's ferocious too. Don't let your guard down. Try not to get sucked into it. Sucked it into? Not yet. All this fighting sure makes me.
Still no sign of him or his traps? The weight is almost the worst thing. I'm starting to feel very uneasy about this. Hey, didn't I tell us to keep our chins up? Doesn't do any good to speculate. You're right. We can't afford to hold back. Miss <laughs> Bell, I'm digging her nails. Just make sure her nails don't dig you. Quite the unforgettable landscape, isn't it? Saray, take a look. Ritual swords. Yeah. Looks like this place had something to do with shepherds after all. There used to be a great many shepherds. If only some of them were still walking this earth. Right. But history is history and it's put us here now. You, me, everyone. True enough. And don't forget, every moment we live is also part of history. <laughs> then we better do what we can not to disappoint our future selves. Yep. After all, the future's filled with jerks like me who hold the past to an impossible standard. Ha! <laughs> Criticize this, you jerks!
Hey, Savid. Didn't you say before that you had a score to settle with Maltellus? Yeah, but it looks like I won't have to kill him. The fact that you met Saray opened new possibilities for you, didn't it? Yes, my fated meeting. Too bad my destiny was a shepherd, not a pair of hot twins. Are you dumb? Seriously. To kill one of the five lords? Even to think that you could kill them is ridiculous. Well, you never know what'll happen until you try. You knew your answer from the start, and you've stuck with it the whole way through. I'm actually impressed. Why, thank you, Rosie. Care to sign a pact and be my vessel? Too far. Ow! Thanks a lot, Zavid. Hmm? It makes me really happy that by meeting each other, you found a way to save yourself. Saray. I swear, you're the corniest guy alive. You gotta stop being such a softie. We still got work to do. Right.